hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fully and factory reset windows 11 and delete everything like all the setting all the application and all the data from your computer now this can be for different purpose like you want a new brand computer probably you want to sell it or due to any other reason so let's say you are on the login screen right now so what you will have to do you need to press and hold the shift key from your keyboard and while holding you need to click on the power icon that is on the right hand corner at the bottom click on it and while holding the shift key only click on restart and then click restart anyway and then you can leave the shift key and the computer will now be restarting and now we will be getting some kind of advanced option that will be helping us to factory set windows 11. All right, so now you will see such kind of a screen that says choose an option and you have to click on troubleshoot here. And then here you get an option reset this PC. So you need to click on reset this PC. And here you get two different options: keep my file and remove everything. So if you want to keep some like uh, your personal data in your drive and only want to remove the application and the setting, you have to go with the first option but as we are talking in this video about the factory reset and the fully reset we will go with the second option that says remove everything so click on it then click on local reinstall and then it will say getting things ready so you will have to wait here now here it says your pc has more than one drive do you want to remove all files from all drives so if you have created multiple drive and if you want that all of those drives should be deleted wiped out then you can go with the second option but if you want that only the drive where your obtaining system has been installed that should only be wiped out like only drive c then you can go with the first option i'm going with the second one it's all up to you so click on all drives now it says just remove file and fully clean the drive so you have to click on fully clean that drive And now you should read this message carefully it says are you ready to reset this device this can this can't be undone make sure your device is plugged in this may take a while resetting will remove all personal file and account remove any changes made to setting remove all app and program that didn't come with this pc reinstall windows from this device then you need to click on reset resetting will be now started so you just have to wait now kindly hold down and let it get completed 100 percent all right, so now it's been 99% completed and it's only 1% remaining. So once finally it will be done, we, it will be restarting. And this may take some time depending that how much data, how much application and program you have on your device. So kindly wait and have some patience. And now Windows installation has been started and it says, please keep your computer on and plugged in. So if you're using any kind of laptop, so make sure that it's connected to the charger. And it says your computer may restart a few times. So it may restart a couple of times in between the installation. So just leave it as it is and wait until the final screen comes up. And finally, we will be getting this screen to set up the Windows 11. Is this the right country or region? So you have to choose the right country from here, then click on yes. Then choose the right keyboard uh, input or layout then click on yes want to add a second keyboard layout no i will skip it then click on accept to accept the agreement now it says let's name your device so just name the device whichever it is so i will just take it anything like geek and then you have to click on next and now we will be getting another screen that says how would you like to set up this device set up for personal use or work or school so this is my personal pc so i will click on it then click on next and then you will be getting this message let's connect you to a network so you have to click i don't have internet Connect how to quickly get started on your device so click continue with limited setup and now it says who's going to use this device so you need to enter the name so it can be anything then hit on next now it asks you the password so enter the password then hit on next again and then reconfirm the password it will ask you the security question then you can answer the security question 
and then you have to click on accept now in case if it asks you any kind of microsoft account so i have already created a video that how you can bypass it if you want to use a microsoft account then kindly go ahead and enter the information and if not then you can watch the video that i have created that how you can bypass this option all right so the pc has been now fully resetted and you can see that it's a fresh copy and even you won't see any kind of data over here like on your drive everything will be empty only the operating system will be installed so that's all guys this is the best way to fully reset your windows 11 to factory settings and if you found this helpful do not forget to like and subscribe till then take care bye bye